Hey, I'm Will Schertz with Methodical Coffee, and today I'm going to teach you how to brew a pour over. All right, today I'm going to be using our Pink Lady blend. It's a blend of a washed Ethiopian coffee and a natural Ethiopian coffee. Um, and you can learn about those processes uh, on our website. And if you like bright and fruity things, if you're a tea drinker, this is probably the coffee for you. I, I enjoy it a lot. All right. I'm going to be weighing everything out. Classic kitchen scale, you can get it on the internet, you can get it at the store, um, but it's just really important. Weigh out your coffee, weigh out your water. Um, just know everything that you're doing here and um, you'll, be, you'll be good to go. I'm going to do uh, 28 grams of coffee and 450 grams of water. So that's a 16 to one ratio. On the dot. All right, I'm using my Baratza Encore here. And if you use a Baratza Encore, just for reference, this grind setting is on 16. And that's like a, a medium fine kosher salt. All right. Smells great. Let me show you what it looks like here. See this? Perfect for your pour over. Medium fine. If, if it's your own coffee, dive in. Feel it, touch it. Now, I'm using the Kalita Wave. It's, it's um, one of my personal favorites, and I like the stainless steel one because I can toss it around, throw it in the dishwasher. You don't have to worry about it breaking. I'm gonna rinse the filter, and that's not necessarily because I think for the Kalita Wave, you need to rinse the filter. They make them really fine. If you don't rinse the filter, it's okay, but I like to preheat my vessel, and it, it's just a good way to do that, so. Give it a little, get the warm water going every which way. Then give it a dump. Okay, we're ready. So put it in there, tear out your scale. And then when you pour it in, it's not gonna be even. I like to kind of give it a shake, even it out so that you're pouring on top of a flat bed of coffee. My water is going to be around 205, 207 degrees, just off boil. Uh, if you don't have a, a fancy kettle that gets it up to the temperature you want, just go ahead and get it to boiling, take the top off, and kind of swirl it around for about 30 seconds. So, I'm going to start by just pouring in the bloom and letting it sit for 30 seconds. For this amount of coffee, it'll be about 50 grams of water. But if you're using less coffee, it'll, it might be less. If you're using more coffee, you can use more. So when you're getting ready to pour, you wanna make sure that when you start, you press the timer and pour enough just to saturate the whole bed of coffee to start the bloom so that the carbon dioxide and the coffee grinds can start to release and isn't trapped in your cup. Very good. All right, and then we'll just wait 30 seconds here. That was about 50 grams of water that I just poured. If you're using less coffee, then you can use less water for the bloom. If you're using more coffee, you can use more water for the bloom. So at 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and pour 200 grams of water. And I'm going to start in the center and pour in a circular motion towards the outside near the filter. Slightly touch the filter and then circle back in and then back out. And I kind of do this in a repetitive motion, evenly and steadily. All right, I just poured an additional 200 grams. So now I'm sitting at 250 grams of water. All right. I am at one minute. Now I'm gonna pour an additional 100 grams of water. 
Then I'm gonna wait it out until two minutes. It's looking nice. Let's see. Got about 30 more seconds here. Just enough time to learn all the wine regions in France. I'm just kidding. Takes longer than that. Okay. Diving in at two minutes. I'm gonna pour the remaining 100 grams of water to get me to 450 grams. I'm continuing that spiraling motion inwards and outwards, trying to pour evenly over the whole bed. All right, reaching 450. Slammed it, 451. Now we wait. We're finished here. And what we wanna see is total brew time of about three and a half minutes, give or take. Kinda of depends on your grind size. Um, but somewhere in that ballpark. And what I wanna see at the end is, I'll kinda of hold this here, you can see it. What I wanna see is a flat bed of coffee. So I, I just wanna know that all the water came through the coffee at an even rate. And it wasn't going towards one part of the coffee more so than the other. Okay, time to taste. If you have a spoon, I would recommend getting in there, giving it a stir. Me, personally, I don't have a spoon. Give it a swirl. No harm done. What, what I'm wanting to do is the solid sediments that kind of floated to the bottom of the kettle while I was brewing and the lighter, lighter part of the coffee that stays at the top, I want to mix it all in together so that when I drink my coffee, uh, I'm getting the same experience for the whole cup. Pour a little bit here, or a lot of bit. Don't forget your saucer. Mm. 